Hello, hello everybody, I'm Just with the Gamers Tree, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Reborn. The last episode, we arrived here in the forest. And in this episode, we will hopefully conquer the forest and make it to the next gym. First, we have to verse this trainer with a level 42 Munchlax. Which we should have no problem doing. Off screen, I caught a deerling. Because they're jump kick. Stop stop filing, damn it. We'll both switch out then. Probat, let's go. Flame. Acrobatics, it should be enough. Oh, I'm to kill it. Swallow. I'll acrobatics it again then. And stockpile. Raises defense and raises special defense. Cross poison, there we go. Slacking. Thing with Truant. If you can make it. Hit itself on the turn and attacks, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, Ghost Moves don't affect slacking. Slacking, sloughing around this turn. Acrobatics it. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Swagger. Nah, nah. Thanks for the up attack. We defeated Street Rat. Much of a bunch. Come, come, come. There you go. As you can see, we are moving our way slowly through the forest. How's your more encounters? What's a minty now? Run away from it, though. That's blocked. There's the deal looking I caught. I think it's jump kick. You gotta be careful about things. Through here, there was. Up here, around here. The game is lagging, I don't know why. Damn it. I reported the lag to Amethyst. I don't know why it's lagging, because I'm not running anything, so. But my recording software, which usually, as everyone's seen, doesn't usually lag this badly. Un un Here we are, Spindle Town. Save before anything happens. Yes, there's already a save file. Do you? Is it okay to save? Override it. Yes. There we go. We made it to Spindle Town. One second as I reset the game. All right. We're back with the lag, damn it. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. You have to get out of here. Just turn around and march right back out. The town is completely, I mean, completely disarray. It's so weird. Things are just appearing or disappearing or both. 
or reappearing somewhere else. Completely random and earthquakes. There's random aggressive quakes. No one has a clue of what's going on. You should just come back later. Yeah, that's yeah. Don't say didn't warn you. It's all strange. Let's get in the house. Um, what? I didn't even what? Oh, the, the furniture is here. I don't even know what's going on here anymore. There's the mark. Did the entire Poco just disappear now? Oh lordy! Hey, I wanted that. Sarah retired to a gym leader position after she was born. I didn't feel like I could come on anymore. Incidentally, the son is a little odd. She doesn't split a four, so lock himself in his room all day. Hmm. She's beautiful and kind of looks up for everyone. You can do anything against the chaos. Hmm. I'd like a cool gym leader. Hello, and welcome to the history of Spindo. For 500, is that alright? Sure. A gold nugget taken from the Born City is highly caramel mushroom size could be worth 10 times a normal nugget. Jesus. Sure, I'll hear about it. It was destroyed within the past decay, the first area of destruction long ago, much more longer than ancient civilizations. It's known about it. Some structures of ancient inscriptions and tomes and artifacts. These are the things that we speak of certain objects. Sin Sorry, you guys do anything for me? Staff carries fully functional to send viewers of the effort to possible thanks to free, free to use their services. Uh, hello, I'm a scientist. I can turn fossils into living, breathing Pokemon. I wonder if the Pokemon Center gives fear on us, but I hope not. So he can turn living, breathing fossil into Pokemon 2. We don't have a living, breathing fossil right now. Yeah, the Pokemon Center has to disappear at least. Just like to save your Pokemon. Hello, welcome. I hope we see you again. There, now we're saved here. Hmm, this is really weird that the whole city's lagging on us. But not in buildings. Even our box is lagging. I want to check out what I caught. And I put the energy ball gem. Ooh, you'd have been an amazing grass type. Keep your options open here for a flat to be a grass type. So, is the gym gonna disappear? Or are we gonna just lag? This is out of Pokemon Center. Okay, benches are disappearing. Luna! You're not Luna. Um, anyways, excuse me, I'm supposed to investigate the source of all this loud noise. What would that do? <gasps> the Mart! Mother! The shot means to have appeared at the top of the house! Um, what? So, it's that. That explains why we couldn't get out the balcony door. Um, hello. Who might you be? My name is Sarah. I suppose I'm this town's gym leader now. As for the shop, well, I'm kind of afraid you might be out of luck there. Anyways, why don't you come inside? Bayonet 2? Cool. Let's go inside. So you're hoping to reach the Pokemon. That's unfortunate. I don't really have a situation for this, as I'm quite sure you've noticed. I already should think has been happening in the sound the past three days. I may be the gym leader, but I can't say I'm prepared for, well, everything disappearing Pokemon's laying on top of my house. Honestly, all we could do is hope that this somewhere is better. As for you, you're welcome to stay here. Why don't you introduce yourself and to my son? Well, greetings. My name is Bennett. You heard I am a Lipchus. Yes, a Lipchus. You know, a person who studies butterflies and moths. Sometimes 
about what little insects can do from something that's just so exciting. For instance, did you know that a cascoon have perfect memories? Despite never moving or doing anything, they never forget a battle. And once they evolve, they can remarkably be able to extract any of their info to happen earlier in their life. What do you think? They're truly a small genius. Bannon, I think that's enough. You might be boring our guest. Yes, mother. Certainly a challenge of the Reborn Link, aren't you? As I think I mentioned, it's happened to be the Ice-type gym leader. Ooh. Luna is also a gym leader. Yes, yes, she is, but she's not here right now. Tristan, have you have any points in a young girl with the pretty blonde hair and fancy black and white dress? Very beautiful. That's enough, Bayonet. I'm sure she'll come back if she wants to. I suppose I'll have to explain. Luna is, I suppose, my adopted daughter. Although I'm not really sure how she can kind of appear at the door one day, claim that I was her mother. And I am, by the way, quite sure that that is the case. I have only one child and he's standing right there. Nonetheless, she insists that she lived with us and she's a girl girl, but I've seen trying to figure out who her real parents are. With no luck. And she's run off again, so that's good and everything. It means stuff away from us. Anyway, I don't know. I think about finding her parents as this show and randomly appear at a doorstep one day. Well, someone is at the door. Bennett, would you go get that, please? Pre presenting blessing our lord upon our house. My name is Eel, servant of our lord Arceus. Welcome, Eel. How can I help you? Because I wasn't trying to get a Pokemon, too. Incorrect, rather, I have come back to look for my daughter. You can't mean Luna, so you know her very well. Luna's the child who's been lost by the Lord's light. She walks path of darkness and such. She's trying to go back to normal. My daughter's demonstrated as the father of the runaway, and I've come to reclaim her. Well, that's wonderful, but I'm afraid she ran away. And to where she have gone, I have no idea. Did she not say anything? She disappeared as quickly as she came. Kind of like everything in this town lately. Anyways, Bayonet, I'm sure you'll tell everything. What? Me? No. Oh, no, I don't know. I see. Hmm. Miss Sarah, is that right? I'd most likely allow you to me to linger for a short while, I'm sure. You're gonna save. Now, will you battle me? Well, it's certainly lovely here, isn't it? Well, if you're waiting for that Pokemon to move, it'd be interesting and a challenge me for a badge as well. I might go easy on you for a win, I'll cut down on the gym leader, but I was all that's open to me. See, I used a fairly known as a model, and I suppose you've heard of me. They didn't think so. I gave a career for my son, and I regret that, um, besides of actually trying to improve my own skills, but uh, in the of battles, any challenger I have first. Yes, you heard her. You're ready. You'd be more than happy to demonstrate what I have learned. Very well. I'm happy to demonstrate for the fruits of my research. So, we get to battle hit her son first. Her scary-looking son first. Let's see. You six Pokemon. And you start off with a bug fire type. Well, Magneton's not going to help us here. Not with a flame charge, either. Jesus. Glad we are sturdy. We have our own bug up our sleeve, kind sir. Your flame charge won't do nothing to Crobat. So let's see what you got against this maneuver. Acrobatics! I got burnt from flame body. Oh, he's carrying Zen Headbutt. A psychic move. Oh, yeah? Battles not over yet. Acrobatics. Wrap this battle up. Use confuser right before you die. Hmm. Nice job, Crobat. I think it's our turn for our bug to just come on out. Lulu, let's show this bug what a true bug can do. Sleep powder! Oh wait, you're paralyzed. Oops. Get yourself... Oh, he's paralyzed anyway, it's good. You gust! Yeah! Two paralyzed in a row. 
wrap this up with Gus! You know those potions, damn it. I'm not gonna lie, this is an impressive battle. But your bug's no match for ours! Me and Lulu have been here since day one, and we're not ready to lose against you. Motham, stand. Let's do it, Lulu. Oh no, he's not, I'm not the only one that carries something. He carries Air Slash. Jesus. This Motham's also faster. That is a speed tie. No, he definitely is faster. Lulu, no! Our bug lost. Well, then let's incinerate all bugs! Firefox! Flamethrower! Take a lot more than your bugs to get past us. Only a masquerade was bug water. What the heck? Oh, intimidate. Too bad you're not bug water. Flamethrower! Ha ha ha! What? Hydro pump! Well, not expecting that. Let's wrap this up, though. Flamethrower! Let's keep the pressure on! Quiver Dance. Special attack rows. His special defense rows. His attack, his speed rows. And his leftovers. You knows leftovers. Oh shit, now he's faster. Double quiver dance. Please, second plant there's enough to take him out. It's not. Shit. Hmm. Let's improvise then a little strategy here. In fact, we don't have access to a Pokemon. The hyper, not the super pot. Him and these quiver dances. What's with his desktop setting up this batch? Be able to kill anything in one shot right now. What do dust talks? For Venomoth? Why would you do that? You had like three quiver dances set up. You didn't baton pass out, so the quiver dances don't get s sent to your new Pokemon. That was weird. Now that worked. Too bad it's too late. Flamethrower! Flame burst, let's go! Moonlight. Damn it, now I can keep the quiver dances. That was only one quiver dance that us talk was able to baton pass out. It's not like it was more than one. We can live bug buzz. Says. Guess we can only live one. We should have hyperpotted. Let's crush these bugs, Graveler. Or he can just carry Giga Drain. Shit, I wasn't expecting that. If I knew he was carrying Giga Drain, I would have healed. Firefox, we're in trouble now. Big trouble.
in the fact that he's Giga Drain. Unless we get a Pack Mist. What the hell? He just Giga Drain. He would have won. Freeze him! Freeze him! Freeze him! Freeze him! There we go. That is so weird. Oh well, we healed in the city anyway. Looks like we're gonna have to do some uh, Firefox training. Because there's no way Magneton's gonna be able to kill Dust Ducks. Uh, with one HP, anyways. Not that beastly. Alrighty then. We lost this battle, which is reasonable. So next episode, we will re-battle the bug trainer, and hopefully defeat him. See you guys next time.